Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. We need to take a look at the market for our weekly market outlook video. Talk about what could be happening this week that could affect the market in all different areas of FIFA Ultimate Team. So, we know that on Friday, EA dropped a lot of Icon SBCs all at once, and it was really random, and it was like, okay, here's all the Icon SBCs we should have dropped in the past week. We'll just all drop it on one day. And they almost made it like, a little icon SBC promo and even though people were it wasn't as hyped it wasn't as exciting we got a lot of SBCs and a lot of people have gone and don't have gone and done these SBCs um, which makes sense because we're coming out of a birthday people have a lot of coins we didn't get a bunch of big icon SBCs I mean we were getting consistent icons um, but not really the ones that everybody wanted I mean Maldini is a one that a lot of people wanted um, but I mean, we didn't get the Cruyff, the Eusebio. I mean, we ended up getting a Cruyff, but it just came this past Friday. So a lot of those SBCs came out, and I want to show you guys um, kind of the proof that a lot of people were doing these SBCs after the weekend or during the weekend uh, because you had um, a lot of these 86s, 87s, 88s rise back up in price. Look at this right here. Foot birthday. Uh, we have these guys rising up to 26,000 coins, and then boom, after foot birthday, they, they go back down really fast. Friday, these SBCs come out, so this Matic card was 19k, the 86s got back under 20,000 coins. Now, even on Sunday, they were at 26k, they're a little bit lower right now, I'm recording this right after squad battles, probably got a little bit of, um, a little bit of supply on the market, but a lot of these cards are up. Uh, in price 87s are at 30k those are higher 88s are at 40 so a lot of people are doing the icon SBCs right now and if I would have to guess I would assume they're going out and they're doing Cruyff who is about a 3 million coin card uh, they're doing a maybe a Luis Hernandez Rivaldo's decent I think um, these prices are a little bit more inflated than they were before um, and then Laudrup and Bobby Moore are also they're pretty cheap So I bet people are doing these icon SBCs right now And it's obvious to see that because of the uh, increase in the high rated golds But that's really all there is to do right now on the game, which is um, a little bit uh, sad to say I guess but um, I guess there is some stuff people are working towards with the Colombians for foot swap You need if you're going for that icon you need to complete this weekly objective uh, score using Colombian players in three separate rivals wins to earn a swap deals player um, Like I said at the beginning, they're gonna make you work for this uh, The foot swap this month with putting in the base icon upgrade. I think I've already missed one of the foot swaps um, I really think I did uh, I, I honestly was not planning on getting the base icon upgrade pack um, There are a lot of people who are going hard on this though So make sure you keep track of this uh, when you load into ultimate team There's a, a schedule that you can see and it shows you when the next uh, Foot swap players are going to be a, be available. I'm probably gonna end up turning mine in for a, a Moynier card um, And we'll see how many other uh, Foot swap cards that I get, but that's not the uh, what we need to talk about today. What we want to talk about more today of market movements this week. So the market is still pretty high. If we go on Footbin and we look at some prices, the foot birthday cards they have settled back down a little bit. Um, but this is what I want to talk about. These um, think about how carnivals got rare and they rose a lot in the second week that they were out of packs. I think that's going to happen with a lot of these, um, especially the ones that have come down. Uh, I'm looking at Witzel right now, 186k. He was lower than that just a little bit ago. He was at 180k, um, and he was at 215 this weekend. And on Xbox or on PS4 right now, he's 210, 220. Uh, so I might be looking at this card to possibly buy a few of, um, just because he's a popular player in this game. And he went so high this weekend, I think he can go back up. So a lot of these cards, people aren't invested in anymore. They don't have them sitting on their transfer list. They got those out this weekend when their prices went insanely high. People are done trying some of these cards for weekend league teams, um, but people might continue to keep trying a few new cards if they haven't tried some of them already. Um, and since there's not a lot going on in the game, I could definitely see people going out trying to you know, pick up a foot birthday card to try it out. So if I see any deals on those, that might be uh, an area where you can flip cards this week, and that's where I want to focus as well. I posted a video yesterday about um, kind of the, the best way to 
to make coins right now on FIFA, and that is just by flipping cards. And you can exactly see <laughs> that is what I have been doing. And Angel Di Maria's Man of the Match card has been the... He's been the one that I've been flipping the most. Uh, just because I keep finding this guy for like 100,000 coins to 105k, some under 100k, and he consistently sells from, from 110 to, to 120. So I keep listing him up in there, I keep finding him, and that's the kind of card that you guys need to look for. It. I mean, it might not always be that way, but that's just one guy who's really been working for me this weekend is this uh, Di Maria Man of the Match. Um, now, I've been looking at Bernardo Silva Man of the Match just because a lot of these cards are rare and they fluctuate more often. Uh, but you can the thing to do this week is going to be just flipping the informs uh, and not really going in hard on a lot of investments because I don't see a ton of things right now that I would really want to invest in. High-rated golds are up. It's not a good time to do a club stock with those. They're high. Um, allow them more time to, uh, you know, Kind of creep back down but i do want to say one thing about that since we have more and more icon sbcs in this sbc section um and especially since a lot of these sbcs are pretty new um those high rated golds aren't going to drop right away uh, because now with every icon sbc that comes out that's just a little bit more demand that those high rated gold cards have um because people are putting them into into icon SBCs, and we're not getting a lot of supply. There are promo packs in the store, uh, but there aren't. Uh, we don't have like a promo going on, no lightning rounds or anything like that. So those cards aren't getting a lot of of supply. Speaking of promos, um, I think EA maybe felt like they dropped their own little icon SBC promo last week on Friday when they dropped all those SBCs. But we are technically due if they continue to follow the same plan of like. Two weeks off, one week promo, two weeks off. Um, we are due for another promo. So I don't know what that could be. There was an Easter card that was added to the code um, earlier this year. But Easter is in like two weeks and it's not entirely yet come. So I'm not sure what, what that could be exactly. Um, but I do think that we could see some type of promo this weekend. And I think a lot of people on the market are just kind of unsure of what's going to be coming in this next week of FIFA. So they're kind of staying liquid. Um, they're kind of, um, you know, just not going too heavily into things. And I would say that's a pretty good a pretty good way to be right now. You want to be on the flips. You want to be getting in on cards and getting out of them, keeping your coins pretty liquid. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being in a bunch of flips. Uh, as you saw here, as it's kicking me out of Ultimate Team, which is nice. But as you saw on my transfer list when I looked at that right away, um, that I had a lot of cards that I was flipping. Obviously, I had a lot of Di Maria's, um, but I had a, a couple foot birthday cards and just a lot of informs as well because I was going through the, some of these past Team of the Weeks and, um, and looking at a lot of those cards. Ooh, look at this. We get to have some fun here. Verify your account with the CAPTCHA. We get to rotate, what is this, a dog? Boom, 3.1 seconds, beat that, 3.1 seconds. That was pretty fast. All right, we're back into foot. And um, yeah, so, okay, upcoming this week, there is one, two other events that I failed to talk about yet that I need to focus on. That is, first one is EA Sports Premier League Player of the Month. And the voting started on Friday. I think the voting will end either Tuesday or Wednesday. And I think Mane is going to be the winner because this player of the month it's not really uh the vote doesn't really play a huge part in that uh, it's all about the statistics for the premier league the bundesliga is very uh, voting based but um if you look at who they have nominated it's coleman mane uh, robertson vardy bernardo silva and ward prouse Pr ward prouse um if you look at some of the stats jamie vardy has four goal four games four goals one assist Mane has four games, three goals, zero assists, three games, one draw, and then Leicester has three games and one loss. So for me, it's between Vardy and Mane. I don't think any of the other guys that are nominated really come too close to that. Uh, Bernardo Silva did a good month. A lot of these guys had good months, but I think it's between Mane and Vardy. I also think Vardy should be in Team of the Week this week. He had uh, two goals and an assist, I believe, in their game this weekend. Don't quote me on that. That could be totally wrong, but I did see that he had a, a Team of the Week worthy performance. So that could be something that's interesting to watch. Um, if they give him a team of the week and he gets a player of the month card. Don't know if that's ever happened before. 
um, or if that's possible. Or maybe if he doesn't get a team of the week, that could possibly make him player of the month. I'm not sure about that. We'll kind of find out. But uh, we'll be talking about player of the month again later this week since they have now released the voting. And um, I think it is between Mane and Vardy. I think Mane would be a very popular player of the month card that a lot of people would do if that comes out. So don't forget to cast your vote for those um, because that voting is, uh, is ending here soon. But that's one event this week. And then one other event that we are getting this week was actually just talked about tonight. EA Sports tweeted this. Um, the EFL Young Player of the Year, it's the EFL Championship and the EFL League Two. They had their awards tonight, their season rewards. And we're gonna get four players available through weekly objectives. And I'm actually gonna pull up the tweet right now for you guys and show this to you guys just so you know what's going on with this. Um, we're gonna go to EA Sports, FIFA, Twitter. And we're going to check out their, their tweet that they just retweeted earlier today. Um, they retweeted it. Where, where's this at? I can't find it. It's not on here. Oh, yeah, it's right here. So it's like a GIF. I don't know what, what they were tweeting with this. But here it is. It's kind of hard to see. It's a GIF. You can kind of see those guys, like, their cards are moving. I don't know how to, like, pause a GIF. But there's the guys right there. Uh, those are the cards that we're going to get in. The right back Aaron's card. It's this guy right here. It's, I know it's hard to see. 92 pace, 80 defense. So this, these are all going to be available through weekly objectives. I think actually, if we go to Foothead, I think actually the cards are in the database. Latest players. Yeah, the guys are in the database right here. So we have Norwood, we have Pukey, we have Collins and Aarons once they load. Yeah, so Aarons the right back looks kind of interesting. 92 pace, 86 dribbling. That's a pretty good looking card. Collins looks pretty solid, and so does Pukey, honestly. They all have pretty good stats. So definitely watch the weekly objectives. That's EA said that we are going to be getting these cards through weekly objectives. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. If you that's something that you're interested in, uh, if they make it very hard, I don't see that that would be something that would be uh, a type of objective in the game that we really wanna grind to, um, but it is, I guess, something to do on the game this week. But again, this week should be a pretty chill week again. I do think we could get a promo this week. So there is, in the back of my mind, some type of maybe a um, little bit of, I don't know if we want to call it panic, or something that's just keeping me from going in on a lot of cards and investing for a Thursday flipping period early. Um, just because if we would happen to get a loading screen early in the week or some type of promo tweet that EA would put out, I'm always just a little bit more cautious for those types of events, so that's why I'm sticking to just the flipping, uh, which you guys know is very effective, and if you want to learn a little bit more about that, I posted a video yesterday, I already promoted that, so uh, a little bit of self-promo twice in one video right there for that video, but, ooh, Bernardo Silva for 118, we're going to buy that up, he's usually about 130, so I'm going to sn snatch him, listen for 130, but again, this week, this is what you guys can be doing, getting these cards, Getting the, the undercuts, like right there for Bernardo Silva, 118. I haven't seen him under 120 all day. Um, and then listen them up and trying to get some, some nice flips like that. Stay pretty liquid. I don't think it's worth going in on anything too big right now um, uh, on the market. But again, this week, the flips in and out. If you want to do some Icon SBCs, I mean, I'm not going to stop you. But um, yeah, it's just kind of interesting that we... This is like the main focus EA wants you guys to be doing right now is the Icon SBCs and to suck your coins. So, um, yeah, maybe a promo this week. I know we have like foot mashup was something that they added to the code that we haven't seen anything about yet. And I think we're still a couple weeks out from team this season. So I'm interested to see what EA brings this week in terms of content because right now it's looking pretty slim. Uh, and it should be just a week on the market where... Um, we can do some flipping, make some coins with the market being as high as it is. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be watching for, for panic selling. And I almost forgot Champions League. There are Champions League games this week. How could I forget about that? Um, those are some of my favorite cards to trade with are the UCL Live cards. I don't see a lot of them very low right now, especially the guys that have games. Sterling at 580. I don't really see these guys as very good investments. I think a lot of people have invested in them already. I do want to mention one thing, though. They will not get upgraded um, after the first leg. And I don't think a lot of people have been talking about that. 
these cards for this round of play will only get upgraded for the after the second leg if their team actually moves on to the next round. So like Suarez right now is 94. Um, they play Manchester United. If they win the first leg, obviously they're not guaranteed to go on, but it increases their chance. So you're going to want to watch those prices. And then especially, um, let's say that Manchester United do lose, you're going to want to watch the price of this card because there were some comebacks in the last round. Um, where the, the team that won in the first leg did not end up moving on because in the second leg, the other team uh, had a nice comeback. So watch for some possible scenarios like that. Let's say that Spurs, um, let's say Spurs pull out a win. I'm a Spurs fan. I'm optimistic. Let's say they pull out a win versus City in the first round and the Sterling card drops to 500K flat. Definitely go in and buy that card because City would definitely have a chance to come back and um, make a comeback on Spurs in the second leg, um, and this card would definitely be panic sold um, after that loss. So that's something to watch this week, Champions League games. I can't believe I almost forgot about that. I love Champions League. What was going on? Um, but again, it should be a kind of quiet week other than that. So watch the market. Have fun flipping cards if you're if you're playing the game. Um, you know, go. <laughs> good luck to you. Have fun playing the game as much fun as you can. Um, and if you're chasing after those red picks, hopefully you guys got some of those. I'm just playing a few games this weekend, not a ton, just because um, this game is not for me right now at the moment. But if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.